Yo yo people, Garrett Tune here for another video. So guys, this video is gonna be in Farming Simulator 19, and today we are going to be roleplaying as a firefighter and paramedic. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, you guys have been really showing so much support on this series, so we're gonna keep these episodes coming. I do just gotta apologize. I know it's been a few days since the last one. Uh, that's on me. These videos take a little bit longer to record sometimes. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's been like that. But anyways, today we are bringing out this hazmat uh, three truck. We have this rescue kind of vehicle at our disposal. Now this does also, this was a squad truck before. So it does have lots of equipment, pretty much whatever we need uh, for no matter what the rescue is. And then we have our ambulance. Now just a heads up, both of these mods, including this fire station as well, actually. Uh, so all three of these mods you see were made by Lambo Mods. So you guys can get these on his Patreon page. Link is down below in the description. He is also one of this video's sponsors. Uh, but yeah, you guys can get that vehicle, this vehicle, this station, so much more over on his Patreon page. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we have the Paradise Ambulance Service. Looks very, very cool. Now, all of these vehicles do have lights and they do have sirens. So really, really cool. Should be lots of fun using those. We open up our giant fire station door we have a few more things with us here today we got this uh, rescue it says rescue uh, but it's our engine fire truck engine 44 as it says there uh, and this will be great for putting out fires now it does have a bit of equipment as well uh, you see we have fire extinguishers we have whatever that is kind of looks like a tow bar but I think it's more meant for poking we got our jaws of life at the other side for our spreaders uh, and then yeah, we have some hoses and even more hoses and got some ladders on top. Now we might be utilizing some ladders here today. Just gonna give you guys a little hint there. Uh, but yeah, and then we can open this door and we have a bit more stuff. So we have this Wireland Fire um, Toyota Land Cruiser. Now this was skinned by Lambo Mods, but the initial mod was made uh, by Expendables Modding. And same with this trailer, made by Expendables Modding and then skinned by Lambo Mods. Anyways, looks really, really cool. And these all have lights and sirens and all that jazz. And then a quick tour of the fire station for anyone who hasn't seen it before. Again, as I promised, we will get on calls soon, don't worry. But we have our front waiting area. We can even open this door. There we go. We have a gumball machine and all that jazz. <laughs> uh, seating area. Our computer that says... Uh, is Garrett Plays gonna find this Easter egg, which we always do. <laughs> and then, yeah, if we go over here, we have lots of lights around for if we get a call, we will be notified. There's also speakers everywhere, so we should be able to hear it. And we have our kind of living area up here, our gaming room. As you can tell, there is lots of stuff here. We got our entertainment system with Netflix on. Uh, what, what have we been watching? Continue watching for Robert. I don't know who that is, but uh, oh, okay. I've watched Black Mirror. What else? Um, I think I know all the songs from Moana, <laughs> but I think everyone does actually. Yeah, I never really watched anything else on this list though. Interesting. What about up here? Um, I watched Civil War. I watched The Flash. I think that's about it. Interesting. Alrighty. Let me know what you guys have watched on this list <laughs> uh, in the comment section below. But yeah, back at it, we have our foosball table. We got some kind of fire practice. Fire simulator, it says. Uh, yeah, so we can practice taking out some big forest fires, it looks like. We got a fridge with a tablet on it. Very modern fridge. Looks like Samsung or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we have a few pictures. Ooh, I've actually never seen this one before. It looks quite nice. There we go. Uh, yeah, we have our fire pole. It says use both hands. Can I get through here? Hello? Am I? Have I been eating too many donuts? I know we can make it through this. I just don't know how. What if I back up? Ready? Mm, no. Come on. I guys, we fit through here all the. T I must have been eating too many cookies, or donuts, or I don't even know. There we go, <laughs> made it through. Fire pull, use both hands, here we go. Boom, just like that. 
And that's about it. Up uh, uh, there. The, there's one other thing, actually. If we go over this way. We go up the stairs. It says dorms. So, yeah, this is where we can sleep. Uh, please observe quiet time for 8 a.m. and after 10 p.m. Thank you. So, yeah, pretty cool. I think we have people sleeping here actually all the time. But right now it's a pretty empty station. Lots of bunks, though. Very, very cool. And here's another um, access point to the fire pole. And those are the lights and alarms I was talking about. But yeah, we can go down here. And woo, there we go. Bit of a bigger drop. Anyways, what we're going to do is wait for our first call. And when I'm doing that, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, it looks like we have our first call. I'm actually going to close this up. Um, but yeah, here we go. So, let's go on down here and get moving. Okay, I'm going to turn off the alarm. Just takes a second to to deactivate but we'll probably be out of here by the time that's done open up all these doors come on oh do not want to open there we go faster come on <laughs> okay uh let's start off by taking taking our engine because we do have a fire reported at this location here we go get the lights on and get the siren on too there we go Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and make a left-hand turn. This fire seems to be located at a uh, barn, so it should be very interesting. Now, the issue is barns, as you guys know, are usually made out of wood. So hopefully this one is one of the metal ones, but I, I highly doubt that. We will have to see. So yeah, farm fire, very sad to see that, especially in farming simulator, so hopefully we can Help out here nice and quick. I already see the fire. Oh my god. What in the world? And we got a new cop car over here. This cop car is made by Expendables Modding. For anyone wondering. Or at least that's where I got it. Was on their page. But here we go. What in the world? Oh my god. There is more than just a fire going on here. It looks like they were working or something. Oh, this is a... Okay, okay, let's stand back a bit. Um, interesting. So, we have... Looks like this fell on the vehicle. I don't know what was happening here. We got a boat? That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna bring over some more vehicles. Uh, ooh, we have some ladders here, too. That's a very good ladder. Maybe we can make some use out of that today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go grab the next vehicle. Okay guys, we're back at the station now. This hazmat vehicle is actually out of service right now. I did not realize. So we're gonna have to open the back door and take this one out, which we've never driven before in a video. So hopefully it performs or it works good too. Yeah, I've never driven this vehicle. Here we go. Got it started, got the lights on. Looks to be the exact same as the other. Here we go. Drive on out of here. Our Speedometer and everything's working. There we go. And okay, let's make a left hand turn. There we go. This is such a wide vehicle. Or it's so long, really. It's like driving a giant RV. It's really what it feels like. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, I almost crashed into that. Very hard to judge distance on this thing. Gotta take huge, really, really wide turns. Here we go. Start up the siren and head on down the road. So this has a completely different siren than the last vehicle. Here we go. Speeding down the road. Got a little bit of uh, bumps underneath us. Kind of interesting. And ooh, how do we turn into here? Um... I'm gonna try this in first person. That is such small. Do we even fit with our clearance? Like for height? Oh geez. Okay. Um I don't know if we're actually gonna make it with this turn. I think I'm too wide. Come on. 
There we go. How close are we? Oh, we actually had a lot of space. We did that perfectly. Okay, then go here. Now that we've driven so well um, as of this far, I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> but I do want to stay in first person as much as we can. Yeah, like this turn. How close are we? Oh, yeah. Very, very close. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Back on up. Gotta go third person occasionally. And... Should be good. I don't want to go too close in case anything combusts. I'd say that's pretty solid. And let's go grab the final vehicle. And the final vehicle is the Wildland Fire Land Cruiser. Here we go. Turn this baby on. Now we do need the trailer as well. So we're going to have to line this up as fast as possible. Probably should have had one of these connected already. Here we go. Back on up. Just like so. Come on. I think that's pretty good. Let me just double check that connection point. There we go. And we look to be good. Ooh, lots of stuff under there. Anyways, okay. Let's get going. Enough dilly-dallying. We turn out of here. There we go. Wasn't too difficult. And yeah, we do have one hooked up to a fire engine, but you guys always tell me not to drive those two connected, so we aren't. I've gotten some pretty heated comments about that. We can turn on our lights and sirens and get moving here. Now again, we have a trailer now. So this is gonna be ooh, this is gonna be a bit different to drive. As we could tell already. <laughs> Come on. Go, 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 go. And as fast as we can. Is this vehicle going to move out of the way? Uh, ooh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to have to stay behind them so we can make this turn. Here we go. Losing a bit of time. Always pull over in real life, guys. Never, never just keep driving normally if you have flashing lights behind you. No matter what. And it looks like we did get in a bit of a collision with the fence. Come on. There we go. The Land Cruiser can pull through that. And I'm going to set this... Ooh, actually, can we set it up over here? Let me back on up a bit. Ooh, we got the trailer quite muddy as well. Here we go. Now, can we make this? Yes. Perfect. Okay, watch all these lights. But I think this will be pretty good. We might have scraped there. I'm not sure. All right. Position that, and for this vehicle, we're actually gonna have to turn it off because the siren keeps going. It's not toggleable like the other ones. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna get on my gear, and we can start taking out this fire. Okay, guys, we got our gear on now. Let's go ahead and grab this ladder. Uh, as we said, we saw this earlier. I think this is gonna be perfect for getting up onto the roof. So here we go. I'm really hoping this ladder does work. Wow, this fire is loud. Come on. Okay, right here. Um. Okay, what if we... Yeah, that's a bit better. We can run up. Perfect. Ooh, okay, okay. That's very, very hot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Here we go. And let's connect our hose to the engine. Right over here. All right, guys, got it all connected. Let's go over to the ladder again. We'll climb on up and start spraying this thing down. There we go. Oh my, this fire is not small, guys. Not by any means. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys either. Oh, the, la the roof is very, very dangerous right now. Come on, get this fire out. I think this is the first fire we've actually taken out in Farming Simulator 19, which is pretty cool. Okay, okay, back on up, back on up. Let's go down here. Um, I'm going to try hitting it from the other side now. So let's go. Here we go. Yeah, just try hosing this thing down. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with the boat. I'm just going to spray this stuff down a little bit so it's wet. Hopefully, we'll prevent it from catching on fire too fast. Or at all. Actually, the boat's pretty good. I'm going to stand on it. Okay, we're getting a little bit close, though. 
Here we go. Pretty thick smoke as well, guys. All right, I'm gonna go back on the roof, and I wanna see what we can do hitting it from this side. There we go, as far back as possible. The roof seems pretty stable, besides for where the fire's coming out. I might have actually made a hole in the roof. I'm not quite sure. We're gonna have to check that out. Here we go. Looks like it is starting to get a bit smaller. Not too bad. Alrighty guys, I think we got the majority of the fire out now. It looks pretty good. I'm just gonna keep spraying everything down to make sure we are right about that. Can I get on here? Come on, eh, there we go. Definitely have a hole burnt in the roof, but it's pretty good for the most part. We didn't even have to go inside. So it must have been an electrical fire started in the roof. I'm not actually quite sure though, because whatever this is, like, still doesn't make sense to me, if I'm being honest. But here we go. Now, I did put in a call to one of our buddies um, over at the scrapyard to hopefully get this pipe out of here. We're allowed to use their equipment. Should be pretty good. So, okay, I'm gonna put down this hose now. There we go. And, okay, what should we start with? I'm gonna see if we can maybe back up this vehicle. Cause this is just in the way. Ooh, it takes a second to start up here. Come on, so you ready? Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna let the thing run for a sec. Let's move the ladder away. Let's get it out of the way from here. Put it right back in the vehicle, maybe. Uh, does that work? Yeah, good enough. I don't think they'll mind us using the ladder since we did kind of save them from having everything burnt down. But we can now back on up, this does work. The arm kind of does, ooh, nope. The arm doesn't work. The front just fell. Uh, okay, let's just keep trying to move us out of the way though. The driving seems to be pretty good, but there's definitely something wrong with the front hydraulics. Yeah, that arm just collapsed. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna leave us right here. Perfect. We'll keep an eye on that just in case it ignites or something, but I don't think that was really touched by the fire now yeah okay i'm gonna go grab that truck uh i'll, I'll see you guys once we're at the scrapyard because we definitely are going to need it to remove this uh pipe from here Alrighty, guys we are at the scrapyard uh, it's actually right across from our fire station so as i said they are our friends but here's the vehicle the ural let's start this thing up now this is not the newest piece of equipment not by any means but it does work. Here we go, we can get moving. Do the headlights work? Yep. Okay, we don't really need all those on. And a pretty good interior. Again, a little bit old. By that I mean it's really, really old. <laughs> but I do appreciate them letting us use it. Saves us some money. There we go. Yeah, we help them out. It's more of like they're doing it to be nice uh, for the community. But we have to make sure to not damage this thing because the city does not want to pay for this. And also, I don't even know where you would go to get a replacement. Okay, this vehicle is definitely going to the left. I don't know if you guys can tell, but by itself, it's driving to the left. Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's very, very weird. Okay, let's turn in here. I did tell the officer that we were going to be driving a regular vehicle, so we are let in. And do we have anyone coming down the road? Nope. Alrighty. Let's see if we can make this turn. Probably gonna have to back up here. Yeah. There we go. Not too bad. We should be good. I didn't even check our clearance height. Yep, we're good. Now this arm, by the way, guys, it extends out. I've seen them use this before. Like, it's no joke. Uh, just so you guys can kind of see we got lots of range and obviously you can go forward as well and it's it's a little bit crazy. Here we go. Now this was found on Mod Hub, by the way, this vehicle, for anyone wondering. Found in the comment section of something. I'll try linking it for you guys, but it might be a little bit challenging to find. <laughs> Anyways, let's turn on the little lights at the front. Now those aren't really 
well seen in comparison to all these flashing lights around the place, but it works. Here we go. Excuse me. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, we're going to see. Maybe we can just get that pipe directly in this vehicle bed. If not, just get it off of the road or off of this vehicle. There's no way that truck's moving with this in here. Okay. So now for the challenging part. We got to get this out. I don't have much experience with this mod either. But I find that we can, yeah, so we can strap down and it will help kind of slow this thing down from all the wobbliness. Bring it out a bit more. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to say that that's probably the best we're going to get. And you know what? That's the best we need. Ooh, I forgot to put out our supports. Let's do that before we try moving this through the air too much. I'm surprised we honestly didn't tip over at all already. It's more just for safety. I don't even think they touch the ground. Oh no, they do. Interesting. Okay. I'll be honest, before this video started when I was testing out everything, they did not touch the ground. So I don't know why they're touching it here, but maybe this is a bit more level. Anyways. This thing is to stop with all this movement. Here we go. Now, if we got it a bit more, uh, if we got the weight distributed more evenly, we won't really have to deal with this as much. There we go. Okay. Let's rotate this. Bring it in. I would also greatly appreciate you guys drop a like just for the amount of skill I have using this because. I honestly only tried using it for like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute and somehow did it correctly. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Got that done. We can strap it down in the vehicle. And now, can we also strap? Ooh, perfect. That will prevent this from sliding around. I don't know if that's going to be an issue having all those connected, but it works. And fold in those arms. And yeah, we are we are all good. So I'm at least gonna get this just out of the way. Here we go. How well do the mirrors work? I don't think the mirrors show the vehicles behind us. Or there's just no vehicles behind us. That's probably it. <laughs> Here we go. Nicely done. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring this right over here. I want to see if the vehicle is showing our mirrors. Oh, they do. Okay, perfect. Very, very cool. And yeah, I'll just park this under here for now. Actually, do we... Does our height work? <laughs> yeah, it does. There we go. Nicely done. Should probably turn off the light so it doesn't drain their battery. And the headlights too are gonna need it to be turned off. There we go. Nicely done. And I think that's probably about it here today, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about trying to get this vehicle and um, the boat moved just because, I don't know, it's, it's not for us to really worry about. So we'll bring this all back to the station, but I'll do that all off camera. So anyways, have a great day. Really recommend you guys join the discord server link is down below also, please consider subscribing clicking thumbs up button on this video Greatly helps out comment down below if you want to see more of this series Also, you can find all of our social media pages including Twitter uh, Instagram again our discords down there if you want to classify that our patreons down there our merchandise links down there Minecraft server, which is mc.garrettplays.com uh, Again, the IP for that is down below and I think that's it. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.